Hi, this is Scott Brown with a Motor Age Tech Tip sponsored by Autel. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into some of the battery health tools that Autel has released into the market to assist technicians tasked with providing service and repair on hybrid and battery electric vehicles. Today, I'm using the Autel Ultra, which has been upgraded to include EV diagnostics, services, and battery testing support. All of the Autel Ultra Series tablets, the Ultra, MS919, and 909, can be upgraded with EV coverage. And Autel also sells the Ultra EV and MS909 EV tablets that offer EV and ICE coverage. For more information, visit autel.com. The Hybrid Pulse Power Characteristic, HPPC, test is performed by Autel on high voltage batteries and is a diagnostic procedure used to evaluate the health and performance of high voltage batteries supporting some hybrid vehicles and BEVs. The test measures the battery's ability to deliver power, discharge pulse, and its capacity to accept a charge, the charge pulse, dynamically. The test typically involves applying a load and depending on the vehicle under test, a current is either drawn from the battery while driving or sitting still with the load applied, creating a discharge pulse. This tests the battery's power delivery capability. Rest period. After the discharge, there's typically a brief rest period allowing the battery voltage to stabilize. Charge pulse. Next, the battery is charged for a short duration to see how well it accepts a charge. Voltage and current monitoring. Now throughout these steps, voltage and current are monitored to assess the battery's performance. The test will vary depending on the vehicle. The tool will provide you with instructions along the way. Essentially, the battery's internal resistance is being evaluated on both the charge and discharge cycles at various charge levels. This is a standard test used in evaluating battery health. The key parameters measured during HPPC include voltage response, how the battery's voltage changes during discharge and charge pulses, state of health, an estimate of the remaining capacity of the battery compared to its original capacity, internal resistance, assessed from the voltage response indicated how efficiently the battery can deliver power and receive power. This test helps at identifying issues like reduced capacity, increased internal resistance, or cell imbalances within the battery pack. Now for technicians, especially in the maintenance and repair of hybrid vehicles, this tool can help ensure battery reliability and vehicle safety and provide insight on overall battery performance. Currently, Autel's system supports battery analysis on 58 vehicle models, including Audi, Volkswagen, BMW, Mini, Ford, Tesla, Skoda, and Seat. Autel's battery health assessment software produces highly accurate state of health battery reports using AI data analytics drawn from millions of state of health testing data and direct vehicle battery analysis. Comprehensive analysis of the cell voltage, current, and temperature data of the battery power generated during the vehicle charging process using their unique hybrid pulse power characteristic battery tracking algorithm. Now, let's walk through an actual test on a vehicle. Okay, the vehicle we're gonna test here is a Tesla Model 3 performance version. This is my car. Car has about 80,000 miles on it. So we're gonna select the health evaluation and we're gonna find the Tesla tab here. We're gonna go into that and we'll pick North America and it is the performance model. Okay, we'll click OK. And as I outlined earlier, it the test here is dependent on the vehicle uh, setup. And either you're going to be driving the car so it can do some dynamic uh, charge and discharge analysis, or you may be connecting it to a charger uh, to do the health evaluation. And on this car, we are going to be connecting it to a charger. And we'll walk through the instructions here. All right, so here's the introduction page. It's a good idea to get, uh, take some time and read this and understand uh, exactly what they're looking for here. But the test procedure here is to keep the battery state of charge below 50%. So 
So currently on the display, we're at 37%. It says the vehicle is not charging. Uh, connect the VCI to the OBD port, which we've already done. And we've connected the adapter that's uh, to uh, connector 930 at the back of the center console. This gets you access to one of the uh, CAN buses on the vehicle that is tied directly to the BMS. And this is how the, the system can communicate. And it says, if time permits, it's recommended to charge the vehicle from below 30 to 100. Okay, some vehicles you need to adjust the state of charge upper limit to 100, which will significantly improve the test accuracy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to set up charging, okay, and I'm going to set the this one time here for 100%, and um, and then we'll we'll move on. So we'll we'll start the test. We'll get a little bit of this into the recording, and then we'll pick back up when we come back, okay. So we're going to go OK. So it says, please complete the following. Park the vehicle at the charging site. Do not start the charger. OK, so I've done that. Vehicle is connected to the VCMI. Um, so we'll go next here. So now it's trying to talk to the car. And it's going to do its checks to verify that we're ready to actually set up this, uh, this test. Right, it's checking to make sure our state of charge is below 50%. And it says it's okay. So we're going to go next. All right. And it says, please complete the following. Start the charger. All right. So I'm going to open up the charge port. And we'll connect our charger. And the screen is saying that it's going to, uh, it's starting to charge. And then I'm going to hit start evaluation. Okay. So here, uh, the BMS data says it's at 40%. So just uh, just some awareness here. The displayed range of the battery or the percentage of the battery is always going to be a little bit different than what the BMS directly is reporting. Uh, you're going to see a little bit of a, of a gap there in that accuracy. So we'll let this run. It says here that an evaluation report can be generated when the evaluation progress reaches over 70%. To ensure the accuracy of the evaluation results, we recommend that you charge until the charger stops charging. Okay. So if you didn't have time, you could basically set the car upper limit to 70 and then let it stop the car, stop the charger and then generate the report. Okay. And then it also says here, please ensure that the tablet is fully charged. Well, this car is going to be sitting here for quite some time. And so I'm going to connect this tablet up to the power supply so that uh, we don't have to worry about that. And then we'll be back once this is ready to go. Okay, we've completed our charging and we're going to go ahead and generate our report. And we got to put our VIN in. 5Y, J3, E, 1, E, B, X, J, F, 1, 7, 0, 9, 2, 0. Our odometer is 82,000. We don't have the pack ID. I'll go ahead and put my name in there. And we'll click OK. Uh, click OK. All right. So we stop charging. Tablet is connected to the internet. It says turn on the ignition, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's already uh, talking. So we'll click OK. And so here the report data is being sent up to Tesla or up to uh, Autel servers. And then this will take, it says, one to two minutes. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to view the report. It just popped right up. Okay. So you can see the report here. It's giving me a 90% good state of health. We see our state of health, state of charge, 40% to 72%. It shows the time 
the minimum voltage, the maximum voltage, those, so those would be the cell bricks, um, figuring out the individual cell. Max temperature, minimum temperature, okay. And it says estimated current driving range after a full charge, 318 miles, new vehicle range at a full charge, 352, and it gives a number of uh, highlights here. State of health, capacity relative to a new battery. So it's saying that I'm 90% of what a new battery is. Okay. Uh, the WLTP, this is the range in a full charge. The estimated range a vehicle can travel after full charge. Okay, and then consistency score. Right, 82,000. So again, this data is added to their database, and of course, that's going to help them gather more information. A lot of vehicle data here. So battery capacity, 207 amper hours. Battery charged capacity, 61. So that was our charge that we did today. State of charge at a start and an end. Min max average charge current 15 amps, max charge current 17 amps. Okay, and so again we are going we are on a level two charger. Uh, I think that was doing about six kilowatts or so. All right, and then from here you can of course uh, do any emailing or saving of the data, um, what have you. Now this is just the tip of the iceberg. And there's additional service tools that we'll be reviewing in the future that will aid in performing battery maintenance, such as cell balancing, calculated amper hour capacity, relearning, etc. I hope you found this useful and informative. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thanks for watching.